Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating in the Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy Challenge that is hosted by Brenda at Monterey's Market. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes, but first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. I'm so happy to have you. And if you are returning, you know I love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use my chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, my Chalk Couture chalk paste in the colors Bright White, Pesto, and Bumblebee. Sorry, those are out of focus. I thought I was gonna use these straws, but I changed my mind and came up with something a little different. Then I am using my uh, Maze Club Couture Lemonade Stand um, Transfer, and then this puzzle from Dollar Tree. So I do start off by just hot gluing each of those puzzle pieces into place um, so that they don't fall out. <laughs> and then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna paint the back with that chalkboard paint. And then once it was dry, I'm taking my transfer, since this is the first time I'm using it, and I am going to fuzz it. That way it's not as sticky in the back and it doesn't ruin my transfer when I pull it up. So here I'm just uh, sticking it onto my board and I'm using my bright white with my multi-tool and I'm going around and I am going to color in all of the trim and then I'm going to color in the smaller words with the white. I'm going to do something, I can't remember what it's called, it's like, um, I don't know, paste and pull or something like that, where I'm going to do half of the transfer with my chalk paste and then I'm going to pull up the transfer and lightly put it down and then finish it and the reason why I do that is because this has a lot of different colors and wording and so it takes a little bit to get it done and if you wait too long the paste dries on the transfer because the transfer part has silk screen in it and so that paste will dry and then when you pull up your transfer it will pull up the paste with it <clears throat> so I've learned on bigger pieces or pieces that have more color or are going to take more time, this is the best way to do it. So you saw I pulled that up there. So I am just going over the lemonade with my yellow as well as the lemons. And then you saw I'm doing the leaves with the um, pesto green. <clears throat> now, if you have not tried Chalk Couture, I absolutely love it. In fact, I... <laughs> I became a designer without even trying it because I watched so many people do it and I just loved it. But if you want to try it out, we do have the monthly Club Couture um, that's about around $20 a month. You get an exclusive 8x11 transfer, three coordinating uh, single pace that goes along with it and a squeegee. And it is a great way to get started. And this is May's transfer. So you might see it a lot on this playlist. Um, so if you order before the end of the month, you can, or if you become a club member, you can get this transfer. I just love it. <clears throat> so after that was, I was done with that, I painted this round that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a 14 inch, I believe. And I painted it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And then I am just cutting the napkin where it's um, bumpy on the edges. So I'm just cutting that off. And then I am just taking that second ply from the back. And then I'm just going to cover it with Mod Podge. And I'm just doing it in sections because it was so big and my fan was going and I didn't want it to dry. So I'm just kind of doing sections here. So I'm just going to put the napkin on, <clears throat> smooth it all out. I'm using my little squeegee I got from plaid it's my mod podge squeegee i love this thing it really does help eliminate a lot of those wrinkles as long as you're just careful with it and then um after i get that all done and i get the board all covered i am just going to cover it all with some more mod podge on the top and then i will set it aside and let it dry and then after it is all dry I turned my fan off so I could show you this. I'm going to do the lighter method and you just light the ends and the part that doesn't have um, Mod Podge on it, <clears throat> it will burn. Now I should have cut those bigger pieces after I got the fire going. I'm like, ooh, I should have cut those bigger pieces down, but it's okay, I was being real careful. 
So then after that, I took some wood glue and I put it on the back of that puzzle and then my hot glue. And then I'm, or not puzzle, my sign. <laughs> that was a puzzle. And then I'm going to put it on the, the, um, round board there. And then I'm just taking some of this braided twine I got from Amazon. It is in my Amazon store and I am going to hot glue it all the way around this lemonade sign. And then after that, I am going to use that same uh, twine and I'm going to hot glue it. Oh, I guess I do this first. I took one of these wood lemon pieces. Uh, they're stickers from Dollar Tree. I painted the lemon part yellow and then added some white and some little white dots and hot glued that onto the bottom of the sign. Now I'm going to uh, hot glue some of that twine all around that wood round. <clears throat> and I just thought it really gave it a nice finishing touch. Plus it tied in with the twine that was around the sign. Now I'm taking some burlap ribbon I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just making a bow by doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle. I'm doing the same thing with this lemon ribbon I got from Dollar Tree this year as well. And then I thought I would add a little bit of the um, gingham, black gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just making three bows here. And then I'm tying them together with some twine that I had. And then <coughs> Once I have that all tied, I'm just going to fluff the bows and dovetail the ends. And then I will hot glue that to the top of my wood round. And then once I have that all on there, I'm just going to turn it around and I'm going to take some more of that twine. I'm tying knots on the end and then I'm going to glue them down to become a hanger in the back. Then I'm going to take some more of that lemon ribbon and I'm just covering it, the um, ends of the hanger there. And that's all there is. I love it. I love this transfer. You have to let me know what you think about this. And if you're interested in Chalk Couture, you can find the link in my description box below to my page. Or you can always email me or in the comment box, ask me any questions that you would like. So today is the easy peasy lemon squeezy challenge that is hosted by Brenda at Monner's Market. And uh, we are, of course, doing lemon themed DIYs for you today. So make sure you check out Brenda's channel and make sure you check out all the videos in the playlist. I will have links to all of them in my description box below. So now let's get on to DIY number two. <clears throat> so for this DIY, I am going to take this um, decal that I created on my uh, Cricut and I will have the font in the description box below. Um, my One of these home words from Dollar Tree, this sign that I got from Dollar Tree at Christmas time and my Waverly chalk paint in the color white, the color ink and in the color maize. So I'm going to start off by removing the back hanger and then those staples. I'm just taking a little pick and then my staple remover to remove all those staples from the back there. Once I have that done, I'm just taking my Cricut spatula and going underneath the trim that was on the top and it comes right off. It pulls off the paper too, which is fine. Um, it kind of makes it easier to pull off. So and then I took off the little wreath there. And I actually just pulled off some of the paper to get rid of the glitter that was on the bottom. Then I painted the back with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And here I thought of my camera was recording and it wasn't, but I went <laughs> and took the trim there and painted that with ink and painted the chimney ink. And then I am just hot gluing those trim pieces on top of the house there. Then I took my maize color and I am painting the home sign with that color and um i kind of i think i did two coats mainly for the sides because of it being dark i didn't want it to look dark then while that was drying i took my decal and i am just burnishing it here and getting it on my transfer tape i put the home sign where it's going to be so i know where to place my decal and then i am just going to burnish it on and there it is, where troubles melt like lemon drops. And for me, I am a real homebody. So this, I don't know, some people might not like being home and would rather be out, but me, home is my place to be. I love being home. 
I've always been that way. I think it's because I'm an introvert, but um, I just thought, oh, this is perfect. So I hot glued that home sign there and then I'm just adding some little black polka dots on it. Um, I don't know why, I just felt like it needed some polka dots. Now I kind of wish I would have done white though. Hmm. Oh, well, it's done. <laughs> so here I am hot gluing. I got these lemons, these plastic lemons from Amazon. They're in my Amazon store as well. And I'm just um, hot gluing a couple onto my sign. Then I just felt like it needed more yellow. So I took some of this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree and I am just covering um, the top part of the house. And then after that, I am going to make a little bow, just a normal shoestring bow, like you would tie your shoes with that black gingham, dovetailing the ends, and then I'm gonna put that right on the top. I kind of wish I wouldn't have put, put that there either. I might have to take it off, I don't know. You have to let me know what you think. Does it look too busy with that lemon um, ribbon? Should I have done this in the lemon, lemon ribbon instead? Let me know in the comment box below. So of course I'm going to do a little bit of distressing around the edge. I don't know. I just felt like it was too white and I don't know why that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but I I should have done this beforehand, but of course I forgot. And so here I'm just trying to do a little distressing here and there with my ink and yeah. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think if you should if I should have just left it alone. Then I am putting some hot glue on the back and adding some shipping paper to cover up the back. And there it is. I love the saying. I love it on the home because that is where my troubles melt like lemon drops. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, make sure you're following me on social media. You can find the links to my accounts as well as the accounts that I'm affiliated with in my link tree in the description box below. And it's time for celebration of your recreations. And oh, Valerie, you did such an amazing job on your turtle DIY. I love it. I love how you use that glitter. Great job. And then uh, Opal Jean, you're at it again. And that is a beautiful sign. I love how you use that calendar piece. It is gorgeous. Thank you guys for sending me those pictures. And if you have any pictures that you would like me to showcase, make sure you send me a picture on my email. My email address is in the description box and I'd be happy to showcase them here for you as well. So here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I am going to use this little sign I got at Dollar Tree this last fall, my maze chalk paint, another decal that I created on my Cricut, and um, some vinyl from Dollar Tree. So I started off by removing this hanger. I know it was killing me, I love that hanger, but I'll use it on something else. And then I am going to um, trace out the black buffalo check vinyl with that paper and I'm just gonna, or with that picture, and I'm just gonna cut it out and stick it right onto that picture. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. I am so glad you joined me today. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then I would hope you would hit that red subscribe button, become part of our family, and then let me know you're new here. I'd love to get to know you. And if you like this video, make sure all of you guys give me that thumbs up and comment because you know that helps my channel grow. And yeah. So there I just painted the frame with my maize chalk paint. Here I am putting my lemon slice decal that I got off a of Cricut Design Space. Um, and then I'm gonna put my saying on there. Now I was gonna use main, I was gonna put a little white um, rectangle behind the word main so it was a little easier to read and I forgot. So it's a little hard to read. Um, but I think if you get close, you can see it. But it just says your main squeeze. I thought it was really cute. <laughs> or you're my main squeeze. You're my main squeeze. I just thought it was a cute saying. So then I just, um, after I put that picture back in the frame, I'm just taking my gingham ribbon here and making a little finger bow, not finger, shoestring bow. <laughs> and I'm just gonna um, cut off the ends and dovetail them and then I'm gonna hot glue it onto the sign. Now I wish I would have waited because I am gonna add little bits of greenery and it was a little hard because I already had it 
glued on, so I should have done that before I glued it on. But anyways, I made it work. So I just took little pieces of boxwood greenery and I'm just adding a little bit underneath the bow. And that's all there is for this one, I believe, because I wanted this to be a shelf sitter. But if you want to hang it, you could definitely, you could have left, you know, leave the hanger on there um, or make a hanger for it if you have a different frame. But I want this to be a shelf sitter. There we go. Okay, that's it. <laughs> so you have to let me know what you think of this one and which one was your favorite today. And thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out Brenda's channel and the playlist <clears throat> and make sure you show them all some love and then make sure you let me know which one you was your favorite and which what I should have done on that, um, that second one if I should have done a few things different. Anyways, I will be back on Monday. I know I said on the last video I'd be here on Monday and I forgot I had this one coming up. So I definitely will be back on Monday and I have a few more again next week. So until then, have a blessed weekend and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.